I'm going to show you this from the bottom side. Our transmission. I'm going to put a block here to hold this up so you guys can see so I can explain it. We've got our counter shaft sprocket here. We've got a speedometer gear here. And that runs this, right, this gear right here, if you can see this one. Okay, we've got your shift drum here with your shift forks here, three shift forks on this shaft here. Kickstarter gear here. Some of these are a little more. Uh, crankshaft obviously here, and this you can see is where the damage is. This thing is just rotted beyond belief. So I don't know if rust is what's caused the, it to lock up or if it was locked up and seized up before then. But now we can get, well, I don't know how, how this helps us to get this cylinder off, but we need to get that cylinder off before we go ahead and put this back together. Um, other than that, I'll, I'll maybe try to dismantle some of this transmission for you so you can see how it works here. Kickstarter here, looks like it just held on by this uh, bolt here. And this is spring loaded, so be careful. Uh, probably not gonna go flying, but there's gonna be some, some bounce to it. And then you can just potentially slide this out. This, yep, just pulls right out the top there. So, you can hear the ratchet part of it in there. For when you kick it, it'll just spin one way, the other side it grabs. So, Kickstarter gear there. Now our shift drum. See if we can just slide this shaft out of here if there's more that we need to do. I'd be surprised if you can just slide it out of there, but. Okay, for the shift forks, then you can just slide that out of there, which is not a real common deal. Then I try to keep them in the same order, just so when we're going back together, a little less time to, to guess. Got our three forks there. Shift drum actually just slides out there. Okay, so this, what I said was your drain bowl, is actually a spring-loaded detent that holds that drum into place when you're in gear. So now we're able to, so that, this detent uh, slides into these grooves there, keeping you in gear. So if your bike is slipping in and out of gear, check this, shift drum, shift this, check this detent here to make sure that it is spring loaded, make sure that spring's going up and down, make sure these aren't too grooved right here uh, against each other. You sit there and shift back and forth, you're potentially wearing that drum out. Shifting back and forth isn't gonna cause that um, permanent damage, but over time there's a lot that happens there. So that is the one side, we'll see how far we can get with this transmission here. These actually just slide up out of there just like that. And then we've got this shaft here that slides out as well. So clutch sits on one, counter shaft sprocket sits on the other one. Speed, uh, this is the oil pump gear here. Just pulls out there. And crankshaft, like I said, we're gonna have our hands uh, tied with that one. So that is tearing into a Suzuki GT500.